All right, I think I figured out the problem. Twitch Studio. The overlay. Compatibility. Bah. All right. Here we are. We're at the station. We are. Uh, journal. Request. We have been tasked by Thancred to go to the survey the designated locations and deal with any enemies that appear. Offline, did a few things. Got uh, a couple more uh, ether cards. Did a couple quests. Uh, ether card quests. There are a couple more, which I might, <laughs> which I'll probably end up doing before we get the MSQ one. Have to do that, otherwise. Yeah, I don't think we. Because basically, when we do the MSQ one, it should be the last one. That should get us flying. So while I was doing them offline before, we're getting close to the end of Garlemald. So... Since everything besides the first two zones, like the first two zones, Labyrinthos and, and Thavnir are, are cutting half. So there's half you get get during the beginning, half you get near the end. So I want to make sure that everything lines up, that once I do the MSQ one, which basically is the final one, usually it's also where you immediately leave the zone. <laughs> All right, Imperials, we got a Conqueror's Chain to, to nullify. Uh, the nice thing is, oh, oh, this is wildlife. No, oh, we should, let me refresh my... Stick, stick around, Wingar. There's kind of a path along here. They make sure we don't kill him. I'm still shrouded for a couple more seconds. We avoid the Yotan. Follow the path. In theory, in MMO games, paths and roads usually safe routes. You might go a little secure, insecure, go a little off course, take a little longer to do, or something like that. Uh, this guy's a kind of a threat. We'll kill him anyways. Hi.
out of the way. Ah, oh, there you are. As expected, it ran into a few beasts who went down without much of a fight. The temper had proved somewhat troublesome, but those chains should keep them under control until our allies take them into custody. With that taken care of, we may gather a few supplies and then return to the station. While I see, see to that, would you mind appraising Lucia of our progress? As it happens, I have some rather pertinent information from, from our recent scouting forays, but I'll save that for later. First things first, and all that. I am a ghost. I was void of Quintus' suicide. It must have come as a great shock to his men. But of refugees, I'm told that some were receptive to our proposal, but I would hear your first-hand account. Exposition. And so many did not hesitate to accept who pro proves how desperate their situation has become. We'll do our best to make them feel welcome. The troops who participate in the ambush are no exception. They will be afforded the same treatment as any other refugees, uh, perfidy notwithstanding. After all, even if I wanted to make an example of them, there's no one left to learn from it. We'll, we'll tell our allies that these soldiers are acting under the direct orders of their legatus, and that following his suicide, they offered a full and unconditional surrender. And perhaps Quintus thought that that had... He, he lived, he would have tried be tried for a war criminal, and his men punished with him. Perhaps by taking his own life, he hoped to absolve them of any culpability, but perhaps like too many others, he was a true believer to the end. Who can say? I don't know the man for or his heart. Reasons, noble or otherwise, died with him. Now falls to us to clean up the mess. I assume you're curious about how matters have progressed here in, the, in your absence. Quite well, as it happens. Now that we've procured cerulean from the tapas den, they've recently repaired heaters so can provide much needed warmth. Furthermore, we've prepared sufficient food for everybody. Everyone, those from Tertium, shall, shall find a hot meal awaiting upon their arrival. There's one for you. So go ahead and get, and get some well-earned rest. I believe that you're capable of wielding a ladle or two without your assistance. I believe that we're capable of wielding a ladle or two without your assistance. On your way, way might I ask that you s seek out your Stola. She was but recently tending to the wounded, but she's meant to be taking a rest herself. See that she is. All right. Pause before we do that. We're going to get our two remaining side quests. Megan Gareth, seen you before in Tertium, yes? I was part of the first group transferred here, and there's someone I'm trying to find, a small boy, red hair. Have you seen him? Hmm, probably just using a budge. My apologies. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Gala, First Legion. I've been doing what I can for the refugees, though I suppose I'm I'm one myself. You see, I've always tried to help those in need. Some call me a busybody, in fact. Before joining the military, I was, was a member of Vigilantes Urbani, and it was our duty to keep the citizenry safe. 
Old habits die hard, though, which is why I determined to look after that lad. He's been separated from his parents in the chaos, but he won't leave the station without them. Thing is, there's no place for a child his age to be fending for himself. Seeing the conditions there, he needs food and warmth, which you and yours have been kind enough to offer. I should go back to the station to try persuading him to join your camp. Could I accompany you to trouble you to accompany me? It'll do him good to see you're not the monster, so you prob he probably thinks you are. Thank you. Well then, no time like the present. Uh, and I believe at, yeah, if so, let's put there. See, all these uh, ether current uh, side quests all are actually usually an introduction to another series of side quests. Good if you want a little bit of XP. It, it's good and bad because. It's good and bad because I believe the first quest gives a bunch of XP, being that it's an Ether Current quest. Not as much as like a regular MSQ quest. But then the follow ups, not so much. <laughs> if my prediction is correct, he should be around here. His name is Volus, but most know him better as his, for his scarlet locks. Considering how uh, reluctant he is to leave, I doubt he'd answer if you tried calling out to him. Would you mind helping me look? Who who are you? That scene. Fullisus. I've been looking everywhere for you, still refusing to join everybody at the other camp, I see. I'm not going anywhere, not without Mum and Dad. Don't you see? It's for your own good. I know you. Came here with you, Liz, didn't you? Please, you've got to listen to me. Mum and Dad are alive. I know they are. No one's saying they aren't. Sorry to burden you, but I have a feeling he's more cooperative once he's got this office chest. Hear him out, won't you? Would you? I didn't collude anything, right? This is exactly what these Ether Curve quests do. <laughs> However, I'm focused on MSQ. I'm just getting this for uh, utility's sake. Let's go back to Camp Broken Glass where the other Ether Curve quest is. Nice, quick, and easy one, but there's more to it. Hopefully, that quest line has a happy landing. I haven't actually done it. What I should probably do, just, just to kind of test, is I'll probably do this on, on uh, Elgos. Is just do every single um, side quest just to see, like, just pick a job that's currently at 80, just work on every single side quest and see how well that, that you can level from that. It probably would take a lot of time to do, but it's fine. Uh, well, 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 now this a sight for that warms my heart. I never thought I'd have the honor to meet a hero of your pedigree. I don't beg for your aid. Uh, oh, it's a woman. Never mind. Beg for your aid. Here we are. A little bit better and more womanly, I suppose. You see, you got a, a shipment of supplies to send down to Tapas then, and having somebody who knows the lay of the land by my side would do, go a long way to ensure it's safe delivery. Oh, yeah, the escort quest. I defend my, defended myself, but I have to carry the bloody thing. If you'd be so kind to escort me, I'm sure we'll, we'll make it worth your while. Yeah, sure. Well, then, I'll be waiting outside the gate of the cab. Come meet me when you're ready, and don't take too long. Monsters are bound in these parts. I'm at 84.
Uh, I'll be back for you, Shtola. Be right back. Give me a minute. I need to do a little escort. And because I tried to focus on MSQ, I'm going to skip all the bonus stuff. Hey, you are. I need you to have the heart to, to help a soul in need. The commissary officer is now a company you keep at your side in order to proceed with the quest objectives. You can leave the company officer behind by entering a different area, putting too much distance between you or speaking with her and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have the commissary officer accompany you again, return and speak with her at the original location. So we get a little options. I can do a little blink. Not a mage, but he can blink. See, there's a bonus objective over there. I'm not going to do it. We're just going to go directly to the adapters then. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. There's another one over here. I know that's all kind of in route, but I'm trying to get back to the MSQ. One of the reasons why I'm escorting her. Here we are, safe and sound. I couldn't have done, done it without you, friend. Now that's all that's left to deliver the goods. Let's enter these cave and get some shelter from these freezing winds, eh? Again, there's probably more to this quest line, but... Eh. Well, the good... Goods have been safely delivered, and I'm afraid I have one more task to beg of you. Of course, I, I'll do it myself if I could, but I'm afraid this calls for someone with the skills that I lack. You're not obligated to help me again, but seeing as how you're already ha already here, maybe you wouldn't mind hearing me out. Get the Ithaca again. Other quest. Back to Camp Broken Lads. Okay. So... Garlemald, we have uh, eight of ten uh, found uh, Aether Currents. We got two more. Don't worry. They're kind of on the way in the ne later on. And then the one last one. This is the MSQ quest. Meanwhile, Labyrinthos, we've got five, five located, one five not, because they're in a location we haven't gotten access to yet. And uh, only one quest, but I think the other three three of the quests like non msq ones are all in that second tier savnir same situation except we have two that we were able to do five five found um uh two quests done that's current status we have area four area five and area six All right, Stola, let's talk. All right, Stola, you're supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> yes, yes, I've been taking proper breaks and imbibing sufficient water, but what of the warrior of light? You and the twins have established history of reckless, reckless disregard for your own well-being. Eh, fine. <laughs> well, fortunate, then, that none of you landed yourselves in my care. I've already quite enough to deal with. Between the tempered and the first wounded. Alas, though, I can mend their bodies. The toll of their experiences have taken on their hearts and minds. It's another matter altogether. 
For their sakes, we mustn't waver, but nor must we rush ahead in eagerness and see the day one, and in so doing, and in so doing, invite disaster. Upon settling down for settling down for supper, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. I just want to note we are level eighty three, about to hit eighty four, and we're getting one of those. Hey, this is a long sequence of events, which we already did when we set off two Garmalt. <laughs> Okay, so let me talk about Endwalker and my thoughts on Endwalker because I have I have done the whole thing on Elegos here. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. However, I was felt wanting. <laughs> I finished it and I was like, eh. it's like this cool, a lot of neat stuff. Got some scenes, but eh. it was just mad to me. It, it it was good. Don't get me wrong. I if somebody says, "Hey, should I play Ed Walker?" Yeah, you should play Ed Walker. And I think other people might get other things out of it. Also, because I've only playing this for a little over a year, less maybe. Um. I might be uh, might have a different perspective than other people have. So the people who was like really loved it, got super emotionally involved. I mean, maybe it's that's another thing. It's just my attitude and and me uh, of of how I react to certain emotional events. Um, some people have been with some of these characters for. For the entire decade, has it been since uh, 2.0, if not 1.0? Um, and there's a lot of attachment to that and, and and everything. However, even though I've been playing playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV for a much shorter amount of time than than a lot of people, I Shadowbringers had a lot of emotional moments for me. It, it it really hit me here, and which helped get and had these amazing moments that I wouldn't necessarily squee, but was like, oh, wow, uh, a lot of wow moments, and and uh, also like, oh, is that oh, you know that sort of thing? You know, it, it had those emotional moments which really got me really into the story and it was like oh shadowbringers is so good i still think shadowbringers is so good i want to play it again ah, i loved it i love shadowbringers shadowbringers great i was i'm still excited about shadowbringers um some of my friends are still in shadowbringers right now i'm so excited for them um and walker Again, there were a lot of cool moments, but it felt flat. To, it fell flat to me. And it I didn't get the emotions that I got through Shadowbringers. So my initial impressions were, if we take uh, Realm Reborn, Heaven's Word, Stormblood, Shadowbringers, and Endwalker. If I rank them one through five, one being the best, I would say five would be a Realm Reborn. It's fine. It's it's okay. Uh, it it has a few moments, but it mainly because it's a long slog for uh, everything. It wasn't that great. Just coming off of one point oh, um, that was fine. A good introduction to to characters and everything. Uh, the the uh, uh, Castro Meriadum and Praetorium for the main the initial main story quest was pretty cool. Took you all over the place. You got to meet some people. You get to Orshafon. 
um, had this great narrative tie into the next expansion. Uh, it was good. It wasn't great. Heaven's Word pushed it up, up, up away. So, so, but Realm Reborn number five on the list for going five to one, one being the best. Next, I would actually say Stormblood. Stormblood was better. I mean, they've been, they already had a previous expansion with Heaven's Word, but. And there were some really cool moments. One of my favorites is, is our little moment with Lise, where we go up onto uh, the hand of Ralgar at Ralgar's Reach and, and have the spar, which is like taken directly from the trailer for, for Stormblood. I squeed because I was playing Monk the first time. So it was as if we were enacting that scene from the trailer. And I was like, ah, it was great. It has those moments and some really cool things. The trials were really cool. I did not like the Lion's Raids. I like Circus Tower from, from a Rome Horn. Um, um, uh, but so that was like when the positive of Rome Horn, um, but um, the Stormblood's Alliance Raids uh, didn't really like. Um, Omega, the normal raid, was really cool. I really liked that. Enjoyed enjoyed myself on that. Uh, some of those fights are terrible on a Black Mage. <laughs> I just did one fight. Queued for a Black Mage fight, fight yesterday. Uh, offline, and it was... <laughs> it's awful. Like this is terrible for a black mage. There's so much movement. Um, black mage turret is a turret mage. <laughs> black mage does not want to do movement. Um, the trials, the the trial series was pretty cool too. The with the auspices, um, Biako is one of my favorite fights. So. Stormblood has a lot to it that is really cool. Everything else, especially the MSQ, kind of fell, fell a little flat for me. Or it, it did, it was like, eh, it's good, it's fine. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, we get to meet our Xenos and see his whole transformation and everything. Um, so, it was better than Rumba Born, but not as good as any of these other three, the other three expansions. Number three, I think, is Endwalker. And I think right now, primarily, it's because this whole... Because it has a lot of these cool moments. A lot of these mom a lot of times where they have the, the big cutscene cinematic events things happen inside there's a like a duty of the, their series or something it was cool but it wasn't satisfying um the raid the raids uh i mean and to be fair we've only had we've only had the initial one uh, we've on, only had we just had uh, last two weeks ago, we had the raid series launch with the first set, first four bosses, uh, which were cool. I, I really like them. They were good. There's a lot of good things in Endwalker. I, I will still say, yeah, it's totally worth the buy, totally worth the experience. But compared to number two, Heaven's Word. Heaven's Word was so good. It has this these great moments. You find you get these connections with characters. Um, you feel the loss for certain characters when they happen, like Horshofong, uh, and Yazel even. Um, and it there, there's something about it. And I think probably. I think I can, I might have kind of gotten where I might be, where I'm 
why I'm enjoying this more. Why I enjoy uh, Heaven's Word and Shadowbringers more. Your smaller group. It's just a tale. Yeah, you interact with the Temple Knights and maybe you could say the Machinists too, but you're dealing with the war between the Dragon Song War. So the war against Nidhogg, the war um, and dealing with that single nation, essentially. And between these two nations. And it's smaller. It's just kind of like a smaller thing. More focused on a thing. Um, as it goes, it starts with spreading. You resolve the Dragon Song War. And the uh, story continues into Stormblood. And it has a good transition to Stormblood. And you have like some of the coolest events that happen during, during it. Um, the alliance raids I really enjoy. Um, some of them, <laughs> some of them are a pain in the arse, but there's something cool about it. Uh, Dun Scythe, the 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 last alliance raid has this really cool mini boss fight with a proto Ultima. Apparently, it wasn't in there to begin with, and then they added it later, which gets you. Uh, or ultimate, not proto ultima, proto ultima weapon, uh, and it's just a really cool. It's it's not that complicated of a fight, but if anything, you get to the point, you finish up the whole thing, the ultima weapon is cast eight ultima, and everybody's bars is that LB three, so you, it's guaranteed to do an LB3 during that fight. And I think it's meant to be you do an LB3. And the sequence of uh, fights at the end, it's really cool. I really liked it. And and the themes and the people we met, the characters we met. Um, uh, Alexander? Oh my gosh, I... I would definitely put Alexander for the raid series above uh, uh, Omega, but they're pretty darn close. Omega was great because of Alpha, this little Chocobo thing. It's so cute. Uh, I think I actually have him right there, this uh, wind up uh, Alpha. Uh, it's great. Uh, it, the music is amazing. It was so much fun story trial series but uh, probably kind of like eh. um but it was all right so definitely number two and then number one would definitely be shadowbringers and again we're at this point and this is where kind of heaven's word and shadowbringers are kind of together is instead of being with these massive organizations and doing things with these massive organizations and this that and the other you're dealing with a smaller group, a more focused story. And you meet a lot of people, a lot of really cool people. There's lots of story moments that happen along the way. Um, I will say that Shadowbringers, the Alliance series, was awful. <laughs> I did, I did. It was fine. It was okay. Uh, it, it, I actually like it better than the Return to Evil is <laughs> from Starblood. Um, the uh, our raid series uh, Eden was amazing. I loved it so much. Um, the trial series, which ended up being back on uh, Heidelin, um, or back on the source, I should say, uh, with the weapon series, was pretty cool. With this one uh, moment where they have. Uh, where you have a duty and you're in a, basically you're playing <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam, <laughs> and, which was kind of cool. Um, and it was a good story, The Star of Warlight. That's what it was. Uh, I really enjoyed that. It's the Trial Series, Raid Series. The Dungeons, I, I thoroughly enjoyed in Shadowbringers. And... Yeah, it was just really 
I like the atmosphere and just this kind of like new world, but kind of old world in some sense. It's, it was great. Uh, Shadowbringers was just so good and just had so many emotional moments. Um, I I really now here we are in Endwalker. I think the pro, one of the problems with Endwalker is we're dealing with a lot of people, a lot of groups, groups and this wider mass sort of thing instead of being so focused you're like everywhere that's just my thoughts um and there's a certain thing which eventually we will get to which i think is one of the things that i was severely disappointed in i am very disappointed in the ending <laughs> I'm so disappointed in the ending. I enjoyed it. It was cool. But it left me with something to be desired. I'm going to be right back because I actually need to pee after that uh, rant. And we will continue and sit down for uh, Restful Supper. Go the music. Which is the game music. Hello. All right, I'm back. Let's sit down for a rest settle down for a wrestle supper now. I've talked my ear about being disappointed in Walker. I think I can turn off the titles. I don't look like I'm having supper. I'm just kind of wandering around the camp.
I love the trying to outdo each other. It's really like a friendly rival rivalry that they, it gets a little bit heated. I'm not working. Shit. Hold on. Oh my gosh, did you miss all the sound on that? I'm so sorry about that. I thought the sound was working. It must have stopped for some reason. Let's do that. I am honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Galian both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast. 
as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. for peace. being tempered. The talismans! Quickly! Save me, brave hero! <clears throat> My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. Oh. Yeah, I mentioned cool moments. Cool moment. Uh-oh. What's happening? We'll find out. Cutscenes. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. I shall begin the preparations. Now, it is time for you to awaken. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. Uh, what? Um... What? These aren't the gloves I was... Oh, shit. <laughs> so? How does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. He did. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. And permit you to go on a righteous rampage instead of partaking in this delicious meal? I think not. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. 
He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. Wait, wait, what? Ah, exposition is in order. The Galian Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far, in open rebellion. Our bold new Emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit, their anima. It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of anima itself. An ingenious design. We do not agree, my lord. Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone.
At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger, and it would seem my friend has lost his appetite. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion, but clearly we are above such pretensions. While my lifeless body was in the possession of the Asian, I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Dinas, what are you going to be doing? Whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends as you? I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. It is. Your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making his way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here. Or run, if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. Well, I've had practice on... As a gladiator slash paladin. Here we go. Quickly now. Come along.
Time to familiarize yourself with the new body. Might I suggest a little fight to the death? Not bad at all, given your diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows, scurrying about like a rodent. Tap at the shoulder as breathes its last. Expect to fall the shoulder. The unfortunate soldier is carrying a medical kit. You may use medical kits to restore depleted HP, while you can only carry your limited Remember, more can be found in inspecting Fallen Soldier's direction. Method tech. Well, it also says pay your respects. Well, it's a. Uh, and. This. Back here. And metal go get I'm gonna use it right away, but it seems like a top up many speed with this piece of material. Um not much. Let's see some else. Med pack. See if I can do this. This is the third time I've done this. We find medical kit there. Pass these guys. There they are. Mobilize the Magitech Reaper. Magitech's Reaper's leg has been damaged, but the weaponry can still function. You may be able to clear a path if you find the identification key and fuel. Uh, somebody help! Been up and turned, thank goodness. There was only one left. Uh, the bastards got my got my hand when they took down my Magitech Reaper. If you can repair this leg, they always still work. Here, take this key. If it's running out of room, you might want to find some more in direction. Alright. I got the key. And I just need to find cerulean. Friend days are over from medic kit. The gauge indicates there's some fuel remains. We'll be able to remit the tank and carry on to another location.
run. Uh, please help.
I have to say I did pretty good. Got in a few fights I probably didn't need to do. Unable to escape the blast, you begin to lose consciousness. Wasn't one of those ones where I could just tap any key on the keyboard. Now I gotta press forward. That's all I can do. But five. At death start, gravely wounded and unable to stand, but still clinging to consciousness. Auto heal penalty. HP regeneration has stopped. Armed flesh, forced to inhabit the body of another. I guess this is my lot, and I need to get to it. Oh. Nope. They, they, they took out the tediousness of having to just crawl all the way back to Camp Broken Glass to get to the next cutscene. They just got to the next cutscene. <laughs> it is a miracle we were able to restrain the Tempered without suffering casualties. A welcome one. Arun, Senna, and the others have their hands full as it is. Thankfully, there are enough scales for everyone. And what of Eulus? His symptoms were particularly severe. They were, but others fared still worse, including some brought back from the Magna Glacius. As those in most desperate need take priority, it may be a while before he receives treatment. But rest assured that he will. In the meantime, we must find our missing friend. May the Fury guide you. Of all the bloody times for a disappearing act. Right when the first wave struck, we'd be fools to think it a coincidence. But where even to begin the search? No one saw him leave in the chaos, and we've no trail to follow. While I know full well he can handle himself, I worry all the same. Ah, speak of the devil. Rise ears, picked up pretty well. Well, time to call off the search. Case closed. That's him. Maybe this is going to be there. giver me and reaper. I twould appear so. Thou art struggling to perceive his presence. I am. Perhaps in the aftermath of the wave, there is some residual effect interfering with my faculties. But... Where have you been? We've been worried sick. It's not me. No, no. All's well that ends well. Are you all right? Are you all right? Smirk. Who are you? they've seen me pop out to my avatar's reaper although not intent to attack I know exactly what to do then get away from them you bastard get away from them you bastard the hearth car, so he has a certain uh, the, the, the intonation. 
First, you don't have to be a gunbreaker and find out the three but three percent. Sadly, that is all we have time for today. The effect has run its course, and back to your own bodies you must go. But where are my manners? You have all traveled so very far, and I have yet to pay my respects. Though in my defense, I was ill-prepared to receive so many uninvited guests. As such, preliminary entertainments were in order. A handful of tempered soldiers to hamper your progress. Refugees to command your attention while I siphon the ceruleum from the shadows. Particularly effective, that. Charitable souls that you are. You bent over backwards to aid them, heedless of the delay, predictable to a fault, and so my plan approaches completion unhindered. Anima will soon have absorbed the requisite amount of ether, and then shall come the spectacle to end all spectacles. The eldest, and most powerful of primals will awaken, and all shall bear witness to the final days. Blah blah, thing down. The gods themselves will be my meal, your dear companions my dessert. Upon this world I'll feast, and death shall follow in my wake. All your hate, all your rage, you will render unto me. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. Wise words from a dragon. Thank goodness. He's awake. Is everyone all right? Perfectly fine, yes. I hope the same can be said of you. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Everything in working order? That's a relief. Oh, and before I forget, thanks for coming to our rescue. Given recent events, I would be surprised if you weren't feeling a bit poorly. A hearty meal and a long rest would be my recommendation under normal circumstances, but these are anything but. If Fandaniel's boasts are to be believed, we must act quickly. 
Once you've blown away the cobwebs, we can discuss preparations for our assault on the Tower of Babel. Gee, I wonder what the next dungeon is. All right, pause. And you refill my beer. Be right back. All right. We're certain we're well. Nothing out of place. No missing bits? Good. Though I wouldn't promise the same for Fen Daniel and Zenos after I'm through with them. How much must these people suffer before they're satisfied? How many cruel, pointless tricks must they play? They allude to the final days. Or no, this ends now. It's Arcane Crest. What does this do? Grants Crest of the Crest of Time Return to self and nearby party members, gradually restoring HP over time. This effect can only, only granted when the Crest of Time Borrowed Borrowed bar Barrier is uh, completely absorbed. Grants Crest of Time Borrowed to, to self, creating a barrier that nullifies damage, totaling up to 10% of maximum HP. Duration of 5 seconds. Grants Crest of Time Return to self and nearby party members within radius. So, if I end up looking like I'm going to get hit, pop that, and then I can heal everybody. There's the Aether Current. <laughs> that is recovered. Lucia would have word with you. Are you well enough to make your report? Exposition. Anne was summoned from the corpse of Epervarus. Set to pravity, no no bounds. It seems not. More to the point, we can surmise that the wave of ether issued not from the Tower of Babel, but from the primal lurking within it. A primal whose cry rang rather more, rather more loudly in your ears than ours. If we were taken to the tower itself, then that's, this proves beyond a shadow of doubt that is beating heart of the Telophroi's machinations. In which case, we have some highly relevant information. As many of you know, ever since we dispatched troops to free the Levieurs, we've been developing a plan to infiltrate the tower. According to Thancred and the scouts, the main structure is lousy with tempered and, and tempered an enemy and metrotech. 
Furthermore, the road leading to it has collapsed, making it difficult to approach in numbers. Thus do we pro propose dividing our forces into two parties, one to distract and one to infiltrate. The diversionary force will be comprised of the Ishgardians, Gardanian, and the Minson delegations. They will begin the construction of bridges to make the Tulafori believe we are marching upon the tower. Meanwhile, the best suited suited of our Alamegan, Uldan, and Eastern comrades will use a different method of ingress. Look here. He shows me a map. The facility marked in red is the Enceladium. Enceladium. Enceladium? Enceladium? A vast Magitech manufactory in ruins map, of course, but the freight tunnel connecting it to the erstwhile Imperial Palace has remains attacked. While the Talafari's attention is elsewhere, our infiltration force will use, use it to enter the tower undetected. Be aware, however, that the underground rail network remains very much operational, the Templar are using it to bring supplies to the tower even now. If it can carry their material, it can carry us too, provided we sneak aboard unseen. The science will lead the infiltration party. Once inside, you must locate and dispatch Fandaniel and Xenos. So we ended this once and for all. Hi. There's no more casualties for the Tulafre's maniacal ambition. How quickly can we, we enact this plan? Then Daniel made it quite clear that haste is priority. The paramount concern, even, even assuming he didn't name, in the paramount concern, even assuming he didn't name the Tower of Babel on a whim. In Amon's time, it meant gateway of the gods. Zande used it to refer to a void gate, but in this case, it was certainly alludes to something altogether greater. The eldest and most powerful crimes. All the more reason to act. Act now. The rest of the contingent is aware of the plan and are ready to move at a moment's notice. We are to proceed north to Forum Patons. Patons. Lisa's group will meet you there. As ever, we are grateful for your foresight. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Spare no effort on your preparations. Alright. First things first. Get into battle. Like, full battle gear. Died properly. Speak with Lise. Bye. Okay, so I've got four four quests. I need two found Aether Currents, and then I have this quest, which I'm currently on, which gives me the next Aether Current, which means I need to find the Aether Currents. So I'm gonna look for Aether Currents. But fortunately, they're kind of in route. It's a little off the beaten path.
Alright. If you can complete this quest, then I can fly and grab it. Us. The way into the tunnel is clear. We made sure of it. And we best get in there before you freeze. Especially you. We freeze. Especially you. Oh, this shoe will be on the other foot when we're in. Leave you me. Good fight. You should warm us up right up. Mm. Barely enough cloth to swallow the new bone. Newborn, clearly you have spent too much, too long amongst this feral dog of the Darth Raal. Watch your tongue, fool, lest I feed it to the crows. We will see who is on the, who is the foot when you freeze to death. Expect me not to warm your ill bird hide. These furs are meant for me and my namar. No. Should I be blessed into this day? As if any woman of worth would wish to be worn by you, little son. Should you find such a warrior within me, then she will bask in my glorious flame. Stop, both of you! Save your fire for the enemy. As for extra furs, I have plenty to spare. As do we. Well, everyone, all set for battle, I see. Yes, free of unnecessary encumbrances, if rather more susceptible to the cold, let us review our strategy quickly, if you don't mind. Pippin's group has gone ahead to the Aceladium. In Seledium. We are to meet them there. We wait until the Tempo's attention is drawn by a diversion in force, then we sneak it onto the train. Next stop, the Tower of Babel. If any tempered in in included are injured, we say no attend to them. You science must press on, no matter what. You should avoid moving as a group until we're underground, so you need to make your way to the Seledium. See you there. Just a matter to take Reaper, we're just a Reaper with the Reaper. I'm one of you guys, don't worry about a thing. Hey, it's good to see you, Epigos. We heard you, have, you had collapsed, but were given only the most cursory explanation. Glad you've recovered it quickly enough to take part in the operation at that. As you will have heard, we've secured the way in. Some few are, in, are to remain behind to keep your old scapegoat clear. Our co comrade from Lentis Steers will lead their way into the station. I'll join you soon. The station is right this way. Red light lead now.
This is everyone. Consider the enemy well and truly distracting. Time to go. The primary objective is, of course, the Tilothra's leaders. But should we be presented with the opportunity to vanquish Enema, we must seize it. If it is indeed the force behind the tower, destroying it will dis deliver our allies from the Tilothra's reign of terror. And I, for one, would not see the Garlean people manipulated any longer. Be it by Primal, Asian, or anything else. Here, here. There's been enough of that. We came to help the people of Gardemald, and that's what we're going to do. Together. Till the very end. The train should be along any moment now. Pep to board, everyone. Oh. I trust my eyes. All right, who do I want to take? I just like Thancred. Uh, as a as a tank, I just do. Uh, I personally prefer Alpha Noon as a healer. Right then. Uh, I stand I, ever ready. Let's take Ra. Take Ra. Me, uh, Sasha Sex. Now or never. All right. Quickly pass some experience buffs. Because I will tell you this. This egg doesn't do much. Could probably get better food for her.
coming down. This destination must be first.
The alarm's been disabled now, but that we can use to lift. It's Pippin. So we got uh, Magni and Sadu over there, and we have Lisa over there, and do you have anybody over there? I don't think there's anybody over there. Just Lisa over there. Lisa, the badass, solo everything. Oh no, Pippin is with Lisa. Oh, hello, people. Where is that? Magitech Predator? Magitech Predator. You cannot stop us! Past the birds, let's see who gets there first.
My turn! Who is the group? Go, I shall deal with these wild What is this foul stench?
Is that Varys? If I may. I'm getting confused by the fact that I'm like tucked in the corner. Baker, could you, could you at least put these guys like in the better position where we didn't get stuck in a corner? Ready now, we can't afford any mistakes.
Main Street. So many mistakes! Reaper gonna be like the uh, floor tank of. Is Reaper because they're maiming are gonna be kind of like a, a Dragoon which do uh, unhealthy aspects? At least I haven't gotten a bone stack.
Altered reality plunges into chaos. Take it to Garland Mall. Alright, here we go, cutscene. Farewell, Varus. May the gods have mercy on your soul. The two await. This madness ends here. Oh, hush. This is the best part.
mighty Zodiac, awaken from your slumber and descend! Some manner of magical defense? But how? Uh. The shackles that bind my adversary will not be so easily broken. Hydaelyn, feeble relic of a forgotten age. Hark, victory is mine. I was so close. My lord, a slight change of plans. We shall travel to the moon and break this wretched barrier ourselves. Whatever it takes. What was that? The final order issued by Anima to the Tempered Thralls. Should the Empire fall, the world must share her fate. Of course. Father lacked the conviction to give such a command. The abomination born of his flesh was but a puppet, and I the puppeteer. You madman! You monster! There's a funny joy in watching your flailing attempts to fight the inevitable. You're all going to die, and they're powerless to prevent it. must be on our way. You're welcome to give chase, provided you are content to leave comrade and tempered alike to die screaming. of this child. Tend to her. The last bran at Mare Lamentorum is yet unbroken. Zodiac remains bound. I have shifted the flow of ether and sent the enemy far from their destination. Now, I shall divert it once more. An ally awaits, and I will deliver you unto him. Seek his aid. Restore the seal. Zodiac must not be set free. The Tempered are running wild. Not only those at the tower, but those back at the camp. The others are doing their best to contain them, but the situation is growing beyond our control. Leave them to die or give up the chase. Just like Van Daniel said. Oh. 
But Maud's fate is in your hands. You're... you're going alone? You have our trust and our faith. I pray we have yours. Our friends and the tempered need our help. We will save as many as we can, I swear. Once we have matters well in hand, we'll join you on the moon. Until then, be careful. There's no telling what you'll find. If all the temper are affected, you listen as comrades likely put up a quite a quite a struggle. We'll find a way to save them. We must. I only pray we are not too late. In the meantime, may the Twelve carry you to victory. You may now enter the Tower of Babel with a party of NPC avatars. To make use of this feature, open the trust interface located under duty in the main menu. And Freebird! Come on. My apologies, I was lost in thought. This device is of elegant design, which leads me to think it was, was right ab I was right about Van Daniel. No matter what he claims, he still has an attachment to the trappings of his past. Whether we're knowing this, this will make your path forward clearer, I cannot say, but bear it in mind. And let us turn to the task at hand. As Heidelin said, the flow of ether will transport you to Marilone Lamentorum. We must hope this ally of hers can provide you with the necessary assistance to restore the seal before Zenos and Van Daniel arrive to stop you. It seems we are ever one step behind, but I have faith that you'll make up the difference. Know that whatever awaits, our prayers are with you. Now go, beyond the sky. Long, long before Dalamud was forged to imprison an Elder Primal. The eldest of them all, savior of the star, was sealed within a moon of his own. Souls sacrificed to grant him life still slumber and dream of the day he and we will be made whole. Here he waits, in this cold, barren place his cradle and his grave. Silent lamentations and prayers of hope echo soundlessly to a sundered star, adrift and alone. Sea of Stars, Mare Lamentor. You with me. Evelyn's champion. Hmm? An ancient. Emeraldine. I call them the ancients. Well, first of first, we've got an Aetherite right here. A little design here. It's a uh, tune before anything else. Like the Sage and Spirit? I. I. Return. I must return. Why? 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 Oh, my God. 
Home. I want. I need. He fades. No steps echo through this looming spire, save your own. Be nonetheless sense a present above. Apologies, I have been preoccupied for quite some time and out of practice at conversation. Ever since this moon was created by Hydaelyn, I have served to listen to the little talk. Responsible for the prisoner and the devices that hold him fast. Zodiac himself, projection of the moon's core. Though rent ascended by Hydaelyn, he grows more powerful with every rejoining. Seven there have been, seven to go. And yet, as for all his servants' machinations, he remains complete. The fallen are beyond salvation. No attempt will be made to free Zodiac until he is whole once more. Has taken action. The shackles are holding, nearly shattered. Six locks to his goal, uh, six locks to his jail, great and grand. Gargantuan swords driven deep, hands to bind Zodiac forevermore. Five are destroyed by this would be liberty, one of these I have restored. I strive to mend the other remaining four, but my efforts are being impeded. Souls sacrifice the Zodiac, their manifestation, consequence of the waning seal. They labor in opposition to my work, and must be expelled for the preservation of all. Keeping Zoki Ark in prison. Right thing to do. What is right and good? Ask a thousand souls and receive a thousand answers. 
have for none. I am the washer and the jam. I am not the judge. Know this, Eidolon commands the forces of stasis, and this moon is the product of such power. So long as Zodiac remains in prison in this place, no more sacrifices will be made in his name, nor will they, those souls rendered up through his name fade into oblivion. No, be with these wandering spirits. Do what you think is right. Uh, sadly, I, uh, because I had to do stuff for, uh, COL, um, I started a bit late. We've had two and a half hours. I like keeping these about two and a half hours. Uh, so I'm actually going to stop it here. We'll continue with Sea of Sorrow, another level 83 quest, and I'm level 84, almost 85. I'm ahead of the game. That's great. I was going to continue with respite. Uh, sadly, uh, no more of these 40 weekends, so I'll be back to hopefully just weekend weekends, so just Saturday, Sundays, and then of course it comes out loud on Sunday evenings. So keep watch for that. We just did our What's Going On episode last night, and that will be posted to the public tomorrow if you want to watch it now. Uh, this this Monday the 3rd uh, you can join us as becoming a patron any patron level however much you want to want to uh, donate subscribe for you have different reward letters of course if you want to take a look at that just go over to patreon.com slash comes out loud um, and that's it for today uh, we will see you next time for part 8 of Endwalker and yes I'm just calling these part some things because, you know, people might want you know, the spoilers, you know. However you want to do that. Dude, this, this is music I like. This is music similar to that of, I, I think this is like the movie from Amorot uh, in Shadowbringers. That music. See you next time. Treasure Dragons on Thursday evening.